ice cream sandwiches uh is the one area where i don't like cheat and find a different version of it you know what i mean here look look at my old fridge this is monza that janice got me um a while back this is the honey bag ham company <laughs> janice dude holy shit that's how you know old school as hell dude this is my my welcome to my apartment video that i did back way back in the day i think this is from yeah 13th of april 2020 sides that will got there's some more ice cream sandwiches here some enlightened keto ice cream haven't really had a chance to eat that a bunch of reduced mac uh, reduced guilt mac and cheese some chicken breast tendies some organic brown rice like i'm stocked up like i'm i'm good to go and here i have all yeah see look at all the ice cream sandwiches i have it's all dude i i i would literally carve out 500 calories it's so funny because like it's not like i was caked at this point you know what i mean i wasn't like fucking at this point in my life financially i'm not fucking going crazy with the money but i'm spending like i am specifically on ice cream sandwiches my my food choices have always been very autistic like broke rich doesn't fucking matter like my fridge looks almost identical to this even to this day All my ice creams as well the additional ice creams that I, I didn't for the record i didn't like stock it neatly for for the filming process like that is how my fridge looks all the time i stock my shit super neat no matter what like to consume one a day of course not more than that um here all right so i'm gonna oops i'm gonna take some of this chicken right here okay and i'm gonna immediately toss it into the freezer with the exception of one of these cutlets so they're all like around two pounds right these are all around two pounds okay oh here is the uh here's your fan art i forgot to mention i have your fan art right here um thank you the bad bartender uh and and uh, the four-year-old fan i have that made this uh it's beautiful um i forgot her name but thank you as well little birdie sand birdie sanders birdie sanders yeah that fan art from the four-year-old is now an eight-year-old a lot of it of it but i'm gonna try it right now and i'm gonna tell you if it's good um or not if it's bad i'm just You've significantly decringed over the years. Better make me feel less uh, hopeless about my life and the things that are. Uh, streaming station. Put this coffee down here. Um, and I'm running out of water too. Look, I didn't get I didn't get enough water today. I only got two more gallons, but I'm running out of uh, my tray. Maybe like. 0.75 you guys want to see what my around. fucking look at what Dude. my look at what my streaming station look like nicotine gum still the same that's how you know shit is authentic this is a real hasanabi stream a real hasanabi broadcast because look at this look at this so i had these books that were propping up my monitors i still use one of those monitors by the way the, this one is like this one's i've had the same monitor i think from like day one I still use those same monitors. The fucking lo-fi lo hip-hop is literally playing in the background. Okay. And then you do this. You mix the coffee up a little bit. The two coffees. Yeah, I had reminders in uh, on the wall. I had the reminders on the wall to, to not get angry. This was like, I think this was artwork that we found in the trash literally trash art that we put uh that my old roommate had found and then we put that on the fucking i, I just put that back there this was my this was my uh one bedroom apartment days style uh earthy undertone as well is that a ball gag or chew toy on the desk no it's uh it's for your for it's for your grip strength I've always had some like little trinkets and shit that I play with while I'm streaming. A hint of lavender. Very good. Okay. Is this when your haters said you were LARPing as a poor person? Yes. No, no. Um, they said that when I was in the, the two bedroom with my mom. <laughs> but yeah, I think I you cook here, right? Yeah, this is me like cooking. That don't look like LARPing. You just look poor. Okay, first of all, chill. Um, I, I like I wouldn't say I was I wasn't poor. This is like three, four months into me being full-time as a Twitch streamer. 
Okay. Just, you know, get those. I definitely, wash these I definitely very now, quickly. Okay. Time to wash these little chickies up with some lemon juice. So. Now, this is uh, basically the, the chemical reaction that this has, I think, like, makes the. Some people use. Some people use yogurt or my dad, my dad, when he's, uh, when he's marinating chicken, he uses uh, milk or yogurt. I like to go with uh, something more sour like lemon. Not gonna lie, I tried this exact recipe you did and it was very mid. You probably didn't uh, season it hard enough. But not only that, but also you have to remember, this right here is maximum protein. LB said 1250. This is maximum protein, chat. Like, this is not supposed to be like, Look, here's the trick that every chef will tell you, right? If you go to a real kitchen, if you go out and eat out, the real trick is butter, okay? They put butter in everything. I know how to marinate this in a way that, like, will make it decadent, succulent, okay? But the reality is I'm not trying to do that. I don't put any butter in this shit at all. And I also do it with like spray oil too, because I'm tracking my macros. Like, is there magic in there? Is the magic fucking released? It means it's working. You know what I mean? Okay. Shake it the fuck up. Uh, and then I'm gonna let it marinate. Usually I let it marinate for like at least an hour. I like to let it sit in its own juices, get the uh, get the marinade and the spices acquainted with the chicken, right? You know. Let it, uh, let it have time to, to get to know one another and ask each other if they're going to vote for Joe Biden after years and years and years of democratic incompetence. Like, are they still going to fucking let go of all their principles and vote for Joe Biden? Why? Because obviously there's no third party alternative. What the fuck am I going to do? Vote for Howie, he Howie Hughes or Gloria Riva at the PSL? Obviously not. That's just, that's literally throwing your vote away and giving a false sense of hope to some random crank usually. I oh, know a lot of tankies are going to get mad at me, but I'm still talking about the chicken and the experience that the chicken is having with the fucking sauce that I'm mixing the chicken with, okay? The chicken and the sauce get acquainted and they learn about each other's politics and before you know it, the, ch the sauce is radicalizing the chicken and the chicken is feeling like you know maybe medicare for all could happen maybe medicare for all could happen why can't we have medicare for all i mean all these other comparable nations all these other oecd nations have medicare for all right that's what the chicken is saying to the sauce when they get acquainted with one another in the fucking fridge this is why it's so funny when like <laughs> when dudes who have been watching me for like four years will come back randomly to hate on it and be like your positions have changed it's like no they haven't dude no no they unfortunately have not you said tanky back in 2020 yeah like i i would jokingly talk about mls and shit i don't anymore because it's like all these other people are like way more cringe i still make fun of fucking you did say tankies unironically yes i still make fun of mls all the time ultras mls i still do yes i don't think you guys understand i'm a left book guy okay i know this shit i i like it's a very different environment out there. I, I, I'm very familiar with the terminology before, uh, before many of you learned about it from like fucking Vosh or Destiny or some shit. Not enough of your chat came up in early mid online leftist forums. Exactly. So that's why like, that's why I talk about like, uh, like ultras or people who are Whenever I talk about like DPRK and they're eating hamburger and DPRK all the time, I'm talking straight up from left book. Okay. Left book used to have uh, Facebook used to have a blossoming leftist community of like some of the most insane people. I don't even know if it still exists because I don't have a Facebook account anymore. But like back then it, I, I spent so much time in those fucking circles with people who just like we're genuinely mentally ill. I'm going to be honest with you. Like there's no other way to describe it other than like real mental illness, <laughs> like way worse than shit that you see on Twitch. Okay. People who are just like people who legitimately, you know, where they talk about like, Oh, there's feds here. There's like definitely feds in these circles. Like I, there were definitely federal agents in those groups because like there should be probably. Okay. <laughs> those were the groups that were unironically like, they moved to r slash Choppa Trap House for a long time. Yeah, exactly. Dudes who are like 48 years old, like Iowa Maoists who are 48 years old, who straight up will just unironically use terms like struggle sessions and will try to do that. 
and uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll try to engage you in and try to make you yeah Jason Unruhe type beat obviously even more than Jason Unruhe people that say Jason Unruhe is betrayed the the uh, the scientific principles of Marxist Leninism anyway my point is God Jason Unruhe fucking miss him what is he up to what's he been doing. My goat. My goat. Anti-NATO and Putin and U.S. Marxist commentator, psychology student. Wait, oh, he's anti-NATO and anti-Putin. Let's go. My king. Uh, left book groups are genuinely fucking insane. I was unironically told the jokes are ableist. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. The irony, of course, is that they're all filthy little anarchists and they think there's something different. You ever been on Lefty Paul? No, I, I never went on 4chan. But... How the fuck do we get here? Oh, I was talking about my my um, my consistency, my consistent takes, and how it didn't actually change. Um, anyway.